there's a lot of people here in Hawaii that are, you know, very concerned about ocean conservation. But are they willing to, you know, stand up and pass a law that says you can't take, you know, marine fish off our reefs anymore? Are they willing to stand up and say, let's make this a national monument, let's you know, protect our Hawaiian reefs? I can tell you the very first time I ever saw a seahorse was one that was washed up in front of our house in Costa Rica. The long-term impact is, is tremendous because she's raising awareness of the plight of the seahorse. Compared with some other areas, Hawaii's fish populations are relatively low. The most soulful insult is the Hawaiian cleaner ass. He is endemic. Without the cleaner ass, a reef is exposed to parasite infestation. I said to Craig the other day, I said, you know, we really are going to have to start doing this. We're going to have to start getting yellow tangs in here. We're going to have to start getting more angelfish. You know, the community is expecting us to do it. If we don't do enough farming, what's going to happen eventually is the areas that are exporting these corals and fish, they're going to shut it down. I went to Tonga last uh, fall with the boys' Hawaiian teacher who happens to be part Tongan, and we were able to actually see firsthand what's going on there. When I was a child and we used to go back, you used to just walk on the reef and you could see all the clams. And then now you, you can see one every 100 yards, which is sad because I, I could see it happening. In the old days, you didn't have the fancy spear gun. Yeah. And, but uh, right now they have a spear gun. Yeah. There's many species of fish where the one that you see in the, in the pet store is the one that's made it. When the visitors come through the farm on the tours and I ask them, how do you feel? And they tell me, you know, I'm amazed that you guys have been able to do this and I feel like I have hope.